Hi everyone, Rick here, Digital Fortress. I'm going to give you a brief description of liquidity on Cardano and limitations. I'm going to use two apps to illustrate uh, liquidity limitations that we're currently seeing. I'm going to use Liquid and the WanChain Bridge as examples. These videos are not the how-to videos. This is just to show you where we're currently at and some suggestions of what can be improved with liquidity on Cardano. And later I'll do more detailed videos of how to actually use the applications with uh, Liquid, WanChain, and other applications on Cardano that use stable coins. So this example is going to be USDC and USDT. I'm going to focus on USDT. Let's take a look at USDT on Liquid first. I'd like to direct your attention to here to the lower left hand side of the screen where you can see on the supply side. So over here you see this 987,000 for example on USDT that is a supply side. You can see it updating as I'm pointing at it, 988,000 supply. And that reflects uh, the how much is available on liquid alone. There's some available on other apps as well. And if you're a supplier, you would currently earn about 18.93%. Now these numbers dynamically update based on how much people are using that USDT. So how much is being used? Well, we go over to the borrow side. So let's go over here and take a look at 732,000 has been borrowed. And what is the effect of that? Well, the borrowers, the more that gets borrowed, the higher this percent they pay in interest. So if I click, if I mouse over that I button, it says the utilization is at 74%. So 74% is the 732,000 of the 988,000 is being borrowed. And this interest rate will dynamically adjust. Okay, so if someone's going to supply, they can bring the USDT in via WAN chain, they can supply it, and they can earn an interest rate. And currently, this is how much being supplied. And let's say you borrow. So I'm going to use an example of 1,000 USDT. If I were to borrow 1,000 USDT, and I want to send it via, let's say, uh, to an Ethere Ethereum side, or if I want to send it to an exchange. So I'll use an exchange as an example. It could be Kraken, KuCoin, Coinbase. So I'm going to go over to the WAN bridge. So let's say I borrowed 1,000 USDT. Then I can go over to the WAN bridge, connect my wallet, select Cardano. If my wallet were connected, I'll get a source chain address in here dial in the amount of USDT that I'm moving and then I pick a, a chain that I'm going to the exchange. I'm using the exchange example. I could send it to my MetaMask wallet on Ethereum or wherever I want. Um, that's a more detailed video later. And then I got to check how much can I send through there. So I go over here. You see how I mouse over the max button. There's 90 USDT available through that interface. I can't send a thousand USDT through that interface because there's only 90 available. So I can pick a different interface. Um, I've used Tron before. That one usually does pretty good and the fees still remain pretty reasonable. When I did this uh, before the fees was 13 ADA for example and then I have mouse over max and it is updated and it shows 325,000 USDT is available through that method. So that's so how you understand the liquidity on the other side when you're going between Cardano and other chains. Now, if I select Ethereum chain direct, the fee, if I connect my wallet, uh, connect my wallet here, I might see the fee update. But um, this has 548,000 USDT available through that interface. So if I were to borrow 1,000, I could go through the Ethereum interface. When I checked this with my wallet connected, the fee at the time was 110 ADA, but I'm just showing you examples here, and I'll be setting up some wallets to show you how to actually use these applications.
So this video is just a brief description of where liquidity is sitting on Cardano. Uh, one of the ways that it would improve is if more users were to bring USDT, USDC, and things like USDM into the Cardano ecosystem. There's currently no direct connection to where you can actually send USDT from a Cardano wallet directly to an exchange, hence things like WAN bridge. Okay, so that's something that you got to understand. If you were to try to send USDT from a Cardano wallet to an exchange, you know, I've looked into it and the exchanges don't have a receive mechanism for bringing it in on the Cardano network. So you have to go via a different network using the WAN chain. I hope this helped, uh, helps it all make sense. Everyone have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.